Hello children, a new video for you and in this video we are going to discuss about the tropical deserts, one more natural region of the world. Now when we say desert, desert means an area totally dry that means it's getting very very less rainfall okay desert develops because of lack of water basically the deserts in the world entire world we categorize into two types number one is called the tropical desert we also call them as the hot deserts and the other one is the temperate desert we also call those deserts as the cold deserts now here we are going to talk about the tropical deserts as the name suggests tropical tropical means these deserts are lying basically within the tropical zone or you can say a little bit beyond that let's talk about the location of these deserts right and the areas which are actually um, having all these deserts in the different countries and the continents clear and what type of vegetation and what type of uh, temperature rainfall conditions and uh, along with that the wildlife or the human adaptations all these things we need to discuss and we have to discuss all these things in detail in this video okay now before we proceed with all these in detail let's talk about one thing once again a reminder for you don't forget to share the link of this video with your friends and classmates and moreover please subscribe the channel let's talk about the tropical deserts now if you uh, talk about the location right between what latitudes does it lie so that way if we say these tropical deserts are lying between 15 to 30 degrees in the northern as well as southern hemisphere between 15 to 30 degrees in the north and south of the equator or you can say in the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere so that is the zone within which it is found moreover if area wise if you see in the different continents what area is being covered by these deserts so regarding that the continents basically which have the hot deserts or the tropical deserts are Asia Africa South America North America and Africa the continents which have all these tropical deserts are almost you can say all the Asia Africa South America North America and Australia all these continents have the hot deserts now what what type of climate is found in such regions regarding that let's discuss about the temperature conditions first okay temperature rain for all these come under the climate now when we talk about the temperature condition because tropical deserts so these are generally very hot summers are too hot and the winters are you can say cool so summer temperature basically it crosses oh, 45 to 50 degrees many times it it reaches to 50 degrees now it's a com common thing okay 45 to 50 degrees is the normal temperature highest i'm talking of during summers the temperature reaches to this level so almost from 30 degrees to 45 50 degrees is the um, limit of the temperature what we find in these regions and the the winters are comparatively cool and the rainy season as you all know the deserts in the beginning only i told you that the deserts means the area doesn't get much rainfall whenever the rainfall goes below 25 centimeters so that is an uh, that is a condition in which the desert develops that means no vegetation can survive in such conditions so this is the condition we find in most of these desert areas even at a few places in the interiors of the the sahara desert 
you will find that the rainfall goes even below 10 centimeters. This is the condition. So this is about the temperature and rainfall. That is the climate of that area. Now, what about the regions which uh, I just now mentioned that in the different continents, right? In the different continents, the tropical deserts are actually found and which are the areas and what are these called in different continents? What are the names of these deserts? Let's see first. Number one is Australia. First is Australia. And in Australia, you'll find the these are um, called as the Great Australian Desert. Okay, that is number one. Then let's talk about Asia. In Asia, you'll find the Arabian Desert and the Thar Desert. These are present in Asia, Asia continent. Now, let's come to Africa. In Africa, you will find the Sahara Desert, which is the largest desert in the world. And besides that, Kalahari Desert, you can see here in the Southern Hemisphere. Kalahari Desert and Namib Desert. These are lying in the Southern Hemisphere. Besides that, if you see the South America, in South America, Atacama Desert, again one of the driest conditions or driest uh, regions you, you can say is uh, this Atacama Desert. Okay, again, one more region that is in the North America. Now, in North America, uh, these are called actually the different parts of uh, this tropical desert is called by different names. Number one is Mojave. Number two, Sonoran. Number three is Californian Desert. And number four is Mexican Desert. So these are all deserts what we can find which come under this category of tropical deserts. Now, you know, one more thing is there that you should know about it, about these regions, the these uh, tropical deserts that these tropical deserts are mostly found on the western margins of the continents. Now you will think that what, what is the reason behind it? Why only the western sides of the continents? Basically, the trade winds which blow in this area. If you remember, the trade winds blow within this region only, right? And these trade winds actually blow from the eastern side as they enter the continents right from the oceans or the sea when they enter the continents they cause rainfall on the eastern side of it clear until the time they reach towards the western side they get totally dry and there they don't cause any rainfall rather these winds they move from the continents towards the ocean that means they are moving in uh, the form of offshore winds okay thus developing these western margins into deserts and this is the reason these areas have developed into desert like conditions have developed here now uh, besides this um, especially a few winds the local winds are uh, also experienced in these areas and these local winds are Mistral, Bora, then Sirocco. These are the winds which blow in uh, such desert areas. And uh, regarding the natural vegetation, if we talk about the natural vegetation, what do you think? What type of natural vegetation can be found in such a dry condition? Is it possible that any forest can grow? No. Is it possible for the grasses even that they can exist? No. And this is the reason total desert areas are not having any vegetation at all except a few like cactus, okay, acacia trees like babul, kikar, then uh, prickly pear. These are a few uh, trees or the plants which grow in such harsh conditions. And they are termed as they are called as xerophytic okay xerophytic plants the plants which adapt themselves according to such dry conditions 
those plants are called as xerophytic plants okay x e r o p h y t i c xerophytic plants now what are the main adaptations which we find regarding these um, vegetations how they are able to survive in such harsh conditions for that we should know about a few features of these plants and trees their leaves especially right most of these are first of all these are leafless okay in certain conditions if the leaf is there leaves have been reduced to a very small size okay acacia trees if you know about acacia trees kikar babul and all such trees right now these trees basically if you have seen anywhere these are having the leaves but these the leaves are very small in size what is the reason why the leaves have been reduced to small size or no leaves at all the reason is because as the leaves are the most important part of any plant through which the transpiration take place transpiration transpiration means loss of water from the from the body of the plant or tree so in such a dry condition trees or the plants they need to save water with them so they need to reduce the rate of transpiration and for that purpose only the leaves have been reduced to to small size if leaf is going to be of small size naturally the rate of transpiration will get reduced so loss of water will be minimum that is one way number 2 is that in all these plants and trees whatever are found in such desert areas you will find that they have several um the roots especially in these cases you will find the roots go very deep inside the, the roots are long and deep roots okay again in this case also you should understand that when the roots go deep inside that means they they actually uh, grow deep inside in search of water okay so that is the second feature of all these um trees and plants and all number 3 is that they have a thick uh, you can say bark on or the stem right fleshy stem is there and what is the reason for that the stems generally store water so that is another point another uh, you can say feature of all these uh, plants and trees then besides this uh, some plants have got um, uh, you can say they have some uh, repugnant smell they uh, actually release and it is basically as a means of protection when they when they uh, when there is any danger they uh, release that smell basically against the animal grazing suppose if any animal is there so these uh, plants release that smell okay so these are a few important features of all these plants and trees and especially the wildlife in such harsh climate also a few animals can be found like camel camel is the most common animal which is found in the deserts okay besides that you will find lizards a number of uh, different types of lizards and snakes right then uh, rats foxes all these are the main animals which are found in such a uh, climatic region besides that you may also find the jackals foxes hyenas and antelopes these are also found now what about the human adaptations in such desert areas what may be the main occupation of the people basically you know children the people who are found in these desert areas are mostly the people who are by nature nomads right nomadic life they lead basically the the people who are actually um, found in these uh, tropical deserts they are either belonging to any of the tribal community right or you can say the uh, tribes like um, uh, bushmen of kalahari desert and bindubu of uh, in the in australia these are the common um, tribes which are seen in these tropical deserts okay so what 
type of life these tribes um, lead actually the tribal people lead basically they are leading a nomadic life okay they are nomads and moreover they are actually the hunters right and the food gatherers basically when when any um, group of people when they lead a nomadic life naturally they are not going to do agriculture right they are not having the agriculture as the main occupation because agriculture needs the people to remain at the same place but along with that you will find in certain areas the agriculture is also being done by the people now how come the agriculture is possible in such a dry area yes in those areas where the water is available because without water agriculture is not possible at all so for that you should keep in mind that in such desert areas also what are the main sources of um, water basically you will find the water at certain places where oasis is there right or in certain cases any uh, river is passing through the deserts like one of the best examples is that of nile nile river okay so very close to those areas suppose on the banks of nile river also agriculture is done by the people moreover along the oasis you will find some cultivation is done by the people then besides that in certain areas the canal irrigation is provided so this is how the agriculture is made possible to some extent in those areas now besides that if if you uh, just discuss about what are the main crops which are grown in such an area such a climatic condition so you will find basically the date palms right then uh, the crops like barley then um, cotton wheat then fruits and vegetables these are the main crops that grow in the hot deserts or the otherwise you can say the tropical deserts so this is all regarding the tropical deserts now before i leave i must remind you once again that you have to share the link of this video with your friends and classmates and also do subscribe the channel okay and as you subscribe the channel please press the bell icon also so that you are going to get the notifications related to the uploading of any new video in the channel so see you soon in the next video of natural regions of the world till then bye